Hello and welcome to this video on how to get your data into our statistical analysis software. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to get your data that you collected uh, and we're going to move it into Fathom 2 which is our statistical analysis software. So what you want to do is you want to find your survey wherever you had it saved. I'm going to use an old one just so I have data that I can share or show you how it works. So you're going to click on your survey and what's going to happen is Mine says that it's no longer accepting because I closed my survey. This is from a couple years ago. Um, but it should show how many re respondents or how many people have completed your survey. And hopefully you're around 50 because that was our target goal. So what you'll do is you'll click on responses. And in the top corner here, you are going to pick view responses and survey sheets. So yours will look a little bit similar. Uh, I've hit a column here because uh, it's information that's not really relevant. But I believe this should probably read timestamp, I think is what it'll read on yours. So you have two options here. You can leave it as the timestamp, and it's kind of like your survey number. So person one, person two, person three. What I might be tempted to do here is just go with survey. So I'm going to change the title, edit the data a little bit. And then I'm going to hit one. And then I'm going to use our formulas. I'm going to go equals the one above it plus one. Oops. It's not letting me change it because it wants to do it as a time, but we'll change that. I just want numbers. What I'm going to do then is I'll copy that formula all the way to the bottom of my data. Oops. And what it does, instead of having a timestamp to locate, it just tells you the survey number. So survey one, survey two. So if you want to come back and look at a particular individual or a particular person, and you can just come back and find the fourth person, fifth person, just to see what they entered that kind of messed up your data. Other than that, you should have your questions across the top. And what we're going to do is we're going to import it. So at this point, what you're going to do is you're going to go file, and you are going to go download as, and we want to pick CSV current comma separated I forget what it is actually comma separated values it's right there so we select that you can see it's downloaded now as a CSV and hey I want to show in the folder I've got to move it so I'm going to copy that control C hey because I want it on my desktop just easier to find control V not sure where it went whether it copied at all. One sec here. And I found it. Here it is right here on the desktop. Then you can save it to your drive, Google Drive. It doesn't matter because we're not leaving here. We're going to import. So what we want to do is find Fathom. So this is where you'll have to end up using a school computer uh, because Fathom is licensed software. So I'm going to pull up Fathom. You just type it in and it'll be in one of our uh, in the, on the school computers. I'm going to go file. We're going to go import. So we're going to import from a file. We're going to find that file that I saved, the CSV, right there. Double click it, and there it is. It's all there. Let's double click the folder. It has all the attribute information. Okay. So this is where the magic all begins on how to use Fathom. So I've got the next video talks about all the different things that Fathom will do for you um, using a little bit different data, but this is a video is just to get that into it. So that's all it takes. There's no more data entry anymore with this particular course. So uh, see, you, see you in the next video.